you know, there's there's so many different approaches agents take in order to be successful. So so give us kind of the Steve Rogers uh, simple and effective method of today's agent, what they should be doing to be planning for the future. How far out should they plan? Should they plan 30 days, six months, two years? What's Give me a, a, a brief synopsis of how you would recommend an agent today and all those on this call right now taking notes of the steps, and, and keep it simple, five, ten steps that you would give them in order to make sure that they could be effective in today's market. Okay, that's a great question. Well, number one, you said plan a couple times in your, in your comments there. Absolutely have to have a plan. Uh, and a plan means written, means specific, means deadlines, guidelines, and accountability. Uh, what I look for when I'm uh, trying to coach, counsel, or hire agents is to find out, number one, do they have an ideal day planned out? Do they know what their ideal day is supposed to look like? What time do they start? What time do they finish? Do they have their prospecting time, their accountability time? Do they have a 30-day plan, 60-day plan, 90-day plan, one-year plan, three-year plan, five-year plan? I, I believe that people not only have to have those plans in writing and specific, but have shared those with an accountability partner, a manager, a coach, so that people are keeping you accountable to all those items. And those consist of when are you spending time with your family? What are your budgets? What are your marketing budgets? What are your tracking measures? I'm finding in this business more than ever before that unfortunately many people spend more time planning their vacations than they spend planning their lives. Uh, and so I am a big believer of knowing exactly where you're trying to get to and what that looks like on the roadmap to get there. And in those plans, there's many things we're going to talk about today, whether it's your marketing plan, your technology plans, your open houses, that kind of stuff. So have a plan. Have someone keep you accountable to that plan. That's good. So I hope everyone's taking notes. Steve is, is very quick to uh, deliver really high-quality information. Now, just, just for my uh, audience, uh, my webinar audience, sometimes you like to see kind of the results. It shows that we have about 77% of you that are uh, real estate professionals, 5% uh, team leaders. 9% owners of a firm, and then another 9% probably be our lenders and, and title operations. So that's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, hide these, and then we're, we're going to continue on. Um, so if actually, you just mentioned a, a, an important thing. Let me, I got a question here that I, I want to ask our audience. Uh, I'm going to pick this question right here. Uh, you just mentioned something. I've got a question that's on the board right now that says, do you have a business plan? And the first answer is, I do, but it's not in writing. Not yet, but I want to. Yes, it's in writing, and I track it regularly. Uh, I need help putting a plan together. And then, who needs a stinking plan anyway? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> who needs a stinking plan anyway? Okay, I've heard that a hundred times. <laughs> Why the hell do I need a plan? <laughs> so, so while they're answering this question, um, are there like, where, where, I mean, how do you, you're here now at Windermere, and uh, is there like a, uh, like a, turnkey planning document that someone can walk themselves through? Yeah, there, there are, I mean, there are many plans that you can find either at CAR on their, their, their services and their training site. Many companies have their own business plans that managers provide them. If you are working with a coach, whether it's Tom Ferry, Brian Buffini, Mike Ferry, whomever it might be, they always have business planning forms. Many of them are online. You can go in and type in business plans, and they are. You can track them online, or they will give you tickler files. You can, you can import <laughs> them into that. Do you have a favorite one? Um, I have um, actually I have one that I've made. So, so when we record this, just out of curiosity, can yeah. we take? Would you mind having that plan, and we, when we package this presentation up to put on the website, that we can actually have a download to that plan? Absolutely, be glad to do that for you. Okay, cool. That's that's awesome. Appreciate that. Watch, watch out, we ask for because you might get it. And, uh, <laughs> so then you got to fill it out. And you actually have to do it. Uh, let's let's see what our Howard poll is doing here. Uh, look that. We looks like I'm going to go ahead and close this thing. It looks like we have about 33 percent that have a plan, but it's not in writing. Uh, 30 percent not yet, but want to. Uh, 23 percent, great, I love it. Yes, it's in writing. I track it regularly. 13 percent need help, and only three percent. It's only three. Oh, you can't see it. You want me to share the results? Sorry about that. Uh, thanks. My my uh, co-pilot Velma. Keeps me on track. Got to love Velma. Uh, Thanks, Velma. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, and 3% of you, who needs to stink a plan? That's pretty good. All right. I appreciate your honesty, everyone. All right. So uh, let, go ahead. Let me comment on that. Who needs to stink a plan? I will tell you that I have worked with many, many real estate agents who have done anywhere from two deals a year to have done 300, 300 transactions a year. I have worked with agents that have done 50000 a year in production to agents that have done up to $5 million in GCI in production. And it's been amazing to me how many people in those plans, some of them at their top level, have not had a business plan. Um, and they have said, look, I've been successful on my own merit without a plan. And I say that's true. However, let me ask you this question. 
how much more successful do you think you might have been had you had a written plan and, and tracked it? And they said, well, I can't imagine I'm doing more deals or doing more GCI than what I've done. I said, well, let me ask you this question. Could you have imagined keeping more money in your pocket? And then there's usually silence. And they say, well, what do you mean? I said, are you netting at the end of the day in your pocket at the end of each quarter and each month and each year what you were hoping to net as a business owner? And they usually say, no, not really. I said, well, if you could find a way to reduce your expenses, increase your revenue, and increase your margins and have more net profit at the end of the day, would you like to do that? Nine times out of ten, they always say yes. And then those people, when they convert to a plan, they can fine-tune, track, and measure. Because I'm a big believer, anything you can track and measure, you can improve upon. If you, so, can't, uh, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. That's right. No question about it. So that's awesome.